and welcome to the Vani Podcast, the podcast making you invulnerable to the coercion of the state and the Surveillance Society. I'm your host, Shane, coming to you from the Free Republic of Pasnia, the self liberators Paradise. Uh, the website is paznia.com, P-A-Z-N-I-A.com. If uh, you'd like to learn all about the Second Realm Network, this parallel society uh, that we're in the process of building. Today, I have an, uh, T- uh, TVP intermission number 66 for you. Uh, my most recent article contributed to uh, the Agoras Nexus. Uh, the article is titled Jitsi, an open source and encrypted alternative to Zoom and Skype and the like. I did, a, I, did a, uh, I did write a lengthy and complicated tutorial on it back in 2015, uh, but figured it was time for an update, especially since it's a totally different experience now. Anyway, before I, before I turn you over to uh, this article, uh, if you are looking to support the Second Realm this holiday season, uh, please do consider Liberty, Liberty Intertype Publications. Uh, we have nearly 20 books, a handful of discounted bundles, uh, and more available there, uh, including one-of-a-kind agorist uh, anarchist freedom-oriented fiction. Uh, the website is libertyunderattack.com, and uh, take 10% off using coupon code SELFLIBERATE. Uh, of course, Bitcoin is accepted and preferred. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, please do, uh, please enjoy this, uh, this newest episode, uh, my article titled Jitsi, an Open Source and Encrypted Alternative to Zoom uh, and Skype. Something I've stressed at length in recent creations, uh, re- uh, videos, articles, or otherwise, is the importance and advantage of bringing one's actions in alignment with their principles. Uh, whether we're talking about the physical, or in this case, the ever-populated digital realm, uh, this holds true. And with many interactions now taking place in cyberspace, uh, whether working remotely, digital conferences, etc., it's important to utilize and support projects that, at the very least, aren't the chosen platforms in bringing in the digital new world order, uh, namely Zoom, Skype, and the like. But more so, it's kind of critical importance. Uh, it's of critical importance to utilize tools uh, that help an individual exercise their autonomy instead of hinder it. Oftentimes, the attributes that align with such objectives are that the software is one, open source, and two, if they are communications protocols, uh, that they come stock with solid encryption standards. Uh, and then again, even if not communications protocols, prioritize security standards nonetheless. Hopefully, there are options available. Uh, there are always solutions. Uh, the topic at hand today being Jitsi and open source, encrypted easy-to-use, and feature-rich alternative. Enter Jitsi. I first wrote a tutorial on Jitsi back in June of 2015. Uh, Then, as is the case with many open-source projects back in the day, it wasn't super easy to use and required numerous steps for installation. Uh, In addition to setting up one's own XMPP server, the actual installation of a program, the further configuration of a chat client, and even additional steps, such as authenticating your associate's encryption keys, setting up off-the-record for encrypted as instant messaging, Zimmerman Real-Time Protocol, ZRTP for encrypted video and audio calls, etc. And that's not to mention the clunky and not-so-reliable nature of it, again, way back in 2015. Hence this tutorial. Or hence the tutorial. In, t- in today's iteration of the software, the user-friendliness is astounding, and I have to say, I've remained impressed. So instead of writing another tutorial per se, I'd like to instead introduce you to the new and improved Jitsi. Jitsi Meet. When recording episodes of the Vani podcast with guests, it's always done in Jitsi Meet now. The process is simple, even simpler than Zoom, which seemingly insists on installation of their app. I go to meet.jitsi and type in the meeting name. Jitsi subsequently generates a meeting link that I share with my guests or guests. They click and join Jitsi opening in their default web browser, and voila, we've got an open source VoIP, voice over internet protocol initiated. In this case, since this will be a podcast for public release, the end-to-end encryption portion isn't as important, but nonetheless, it's an important feature. And while Jitsi features security implementations by default, namely peer-to-peer, one-to-one meetings are encrypted using a standard called DTLS, uh, DTLS-SRTP, the end-to-end encryption specifically is still claimed to be in the beta stage. To enable it for your call, hover over the three horizontal lines, more actions, click security options, scroll down, and enable end-to-end encryption. Uh, While it is a manual step, please note the above process. A few clicks is much easier than before, uh, which necessitated an in-depth tutorial with lots of images. Regardless, other features include screen and audio sharing, a chat room with unlimited meeting access for up to 100 participants at a time, a uh, raising and lowering hand icon for facilitating group meetings, uh, record the entire call and video with a click, remotely control other participants' desktop, live stream directly from Jitsi Meet, and uh, uh, functionality to embed the meeting on your own website, and and perhaps even more. Note that no installation is necessary, just the clicking of a link that opens in the individual's default browser. 
Matt said there are plugins for various browsers, such as Chrome and applications, uh, are available for download on the App Store, Google Play, and more relevantly here in terms of the sec uh, in terms of the digital second realm, uh, Ftroid. Uh, Slack, Google, Cal Google Calendar, and similar integrations are also available for those interested. Also of note is the ability to set up a Jitsi moderated meeting, moderated.jitsi.net, a feature that lets you uh, book a meeting URL in advance where you are the only moderator. Jitsi as a service. That is the extent of the experience I have personally with Jitsi. No need for anything further as of yet, but there's one other offering, namely Jitsi as a service, delivered by the company 8x8. This is more so for businesses and more akin to Zoom, I would, I would think. Uh, plans ranging from 25 monthly active users, which happens to be free, uh, all the way up to 3000 which is about $1,000 a month. Listed features include phone a guest, uh, the easiest way to invite friends and colleagues, transcribe and share recorded meetings, live stream meetings to YouTube, deliver real-time closed caption support uh, in English, and experience advanced meeting moderation and analytics. Most probably won't have any need for their paid service, but with the prevalence of online conferences and such, it uh, might be an option worth per perusing. Uh, after all, this was a platform used to facilitate Hackers Congress in 2020, a 58-plus hour live stream from the Institute of Crypto Anarchy in Prague, of which I had the pleasure of joining Smuggler, Max Hillebrand, and others for a great, dis uh, great discussion. Smuggler even provided his thoughts on Vanu, which I especially valued. Uh, that was TVP98 if you want to go check that out. Conclusion while I can 100% recommend Jitsi Meet, I can't say the same for 8x8 after a brief perusal of their website. Their CEO, Dave Sipes, is a Babylon system rat, previously serving as brand management at PepsiCo and was a principal at Booz Allen Hamilton uh, and uh, media companies such as Heinz Company and Universal Pictures. With that said, please keep in mind, Jitsi is open source and their end-to-end -end encryption is audited. Um, of particular note, the auditors state that, quote, all keys are ephemeral and not saved anywhere, thus providing plausible deniability, end quote. And to pat Jitsi's back once again, in contrast to Zoom and even Signal, uh, which do not offer support for end-to-end -end encryption and video calls, quote, Jitsi provides E2EE capabilities in supported browsers, and browser-like desktop applications such as Electron, while native mobile app support is still in progress, end quote. In summation, Jitsi is an incredible alternative to both Zoom and Skype, and the like, offering users far more privacy and security, and it's auditable at that. And as per the nature of open source software, never trust, always verify. See you in the digital second realm. Vanu means relative physical and vulnerability to coercion. Vanu is a contraction of voluntary and not vulnerable. Vanu is somewhat like freedom or security, but those words mean many different things to different people. Rather than argue about what those words ought to mean, I speak of Vanu. Coercion includes murder, mayhem, slavery, robbery, rape, extortion, pollution, any physical interference with peaceful activities of another, whether by individuals or organizations. Coercion, especially institutionalized forms such as war, regimentations, and taxes, is one of the major problems of mankind. Practically all past attempts at solution have been top-down efforts to change society as a whole. Since the days of Babylon, there have been countless attempts to reform governments, take over governments, destroy governments, and manipulate public opinion. At most, such efforts bring temporary relief. Usually they have little effect. Often, they make matters worse. Vanu Life represents a different approach to the problem. Vanu Life does not waste space scolding government officials or proclaiming how society ought to be. Vanu Life speaks to you as an individual or small group and suggests ways you can avoid exploiting and being exploited. As you reduce the vulnerability, not only do you help yourself, indirectly you also help others by decreasing support of criminal institutions. Vanu is not necessarily only a few. Vanu will expand as there are more people willing to do. A Vanuan is a person who has achieved relative invulnerability to coercion. There are many kinds. Some live in the wilderness, where outsiders rarely go. Others live under the earth. Others move from place to place, living in vans, campers, buses, boats, or tents. Some have been Vanu for ages, people such as gypsies, mountain men, hobos, seminoles. Others are recent refugees from the dying cities. This issue describes some of the equipment and techniques used. In future issues, I hope you'll add your knowledge to what is in here. Vanu Life. 
how to live and let live out of sight and mind of those unwilling to let live by people who are doing it. To order your paperback copy today, just visit libertyunderattack.com forward slash life. Again, libertyunderattack.com forward slash life. Or to download this publication for free, visit vanupodcast.com forward slash VL.